we're talking about uh, the muscles of the upper limb all right now moving on to the forearm we'll be talking about the supinator which is a very important muscle of the forearm we'll be talking about the attachment of the supinator and we'll be talking about the action of the supinator muscle so our focus today is to discuss the anatomy of the supinator muscle okay and of course the function of the supinator muscle okay so from here on our screen guys you can see the supinator muscle and if I say you should explain the supinator muscle from the image you are seeing, how can you define the supinator muscle? Uh, from here, you could see that, um, okay, this is your ulna, your ulna being on the medial side and your radius being on the lateral side, okay? So if I ask you to actually define this from the image, you see that it is um, attaching, okay, to the, to the back of ulna, okay and it moves anteriorly to wrap the radius okay that's just my explanation but let's go into the lecture we'll see a better one so the supinator muscle turns the lower arm and the hand okay that are actually downwards okay to face upwards okay so it arises from the top rear of the ulna and wraps around the radius okay to insert on the front surface okay so its function is it rotates the radius and palm to turn upward or anteriorly, okay? So just within this small slide, we have spoken about the attachment, okay, of the ulna, okay, from the top rear of the ulna, uh, the attachment of the supinator muscle from the top rear of the ulna, and it wraps around the radius, okay? And its function is to turn the palm and the arm to face, okay, anteriorly, okay? So this is a supinator muscle. And that's the end of the lecture, just a short one. Just talking about muscle attachment and the function of a muscle of the upper limb, all right? So see you guys in the next tutorial, and bye for now.